hashtag Panther Nation to the April 24th edition of our virtual assembly. I'm Angie here on the Brandon Hall campus and my friend Cindy is here again as our co-host. Hello everyone. I'm excited to be here and hope you're all safe and healthy. Today marks our final assembly in April 2020. Our embrace pillar means that we always make visitors feel welcome and are happy to have all of hashtag Panther Nation Students, families, faculty, alumni, and other friends of BHS share in this assembly. Coach Drillin is here to recap sports highlights and our recent senior night. He also has some exciting news to share as well as an interview with one of our star athletes. Good morning, Panther sports fans, and welcome to the Brandon Hall Sports Report. I'm reporting to you from Brookhaven, Georgia. On Monday, we had our virtual senior day. There were many laughs and memories had by all. I hope you will all enjoy the highlights coming later in the show. We're still finding ways to allow Panther Nation to show off their skills. Make sure to sign up for our virtual horse tournament. It is open to all students, faculty, and alumni. Get in touch with me if you want to join. Deadline to register is Monday at noon. Promises to be a lot of fun. Today's flashback takes us to 2015 as Kana Suzuki took the Lady Panthers to the GISA State Tournament for the first time and averaged 25 points per game while earning all state honors. Kana is currently playing basketball at USC Aiken. Please be on the lookout for the Best Be Slideshow on May the 6th, where all sports and highlights will be profiled. More information coming. We have sophomore varsity basketball guard Kenrick Gale here for this week's spot, Spotlight interview. Kenrick, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You guys had a very successful season this year. Um, you did personally as well as the team, earning all region honors, honorable mention all state. What did mm -hmm. you see as the key factors to yours and the team's successful year? Um, first of all, thank you. Um, um, some key factors um, – were probably how we trusted each other, how we trusted in our coaches, Coach Long and Coach Say, shout out to them. Um, how how hard we worked during practice, how we played it like it was a real game and how intense they were. Uh -huh. And also how we were open minded and how um how we were able to um receive the information that Coach Long was bringing us and and convert it to our games. Yeah. So you guys were very coachable, and that helped in your mm -hmm. success. Awesome. Yep. Personally, what was your favorite moment of the season? Um, my favorite moment of the season has to be our last game. Not many know this; only the people that was in that room knows mm -hmm. it. Our last game at Lagrange. Um, Coach Long showed us a video. It was about it. This video was shown during um Kobe's last Kobe's jersey retirement ceremony, right? Yeah, and um, it was basically sh sharing how hard he worked to get to where he was, uh -huh. and and how hard it is to um, how hard it is to strive for what you want. Yeah, Coach Long basically showed us this video, so that so that we could understand how um, so we could understand how hard um, this basketball game is going to be the game that we we're about to play. Yeah, but most importantly, he showed this. He showed this video to us so we could understand how hard life was going to be, how 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 hard life is going to be for us in the future, and nothing is going to be given to us. So we just have to keep working and working and working to get to where we want to be. Man, that's that's awesome that um, you took that information and and took it personally, and 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 something that I'm assuming it sounds like you have that in your mind each each and every day um, in order mm -hmm. to try to get better and try to work harder. Um, that's a testament to you and testament to Coach Long for being able to give um, that type of information that's so valuable and, and those life lessons that we talk about. That's awesome, Kenner. Mm -hmm. um, now, looking ahead, um, what are some of your personal goals and goals for the team next season? My personal goals for next year is to become the all-time leading scorer in Brandon Hall history and also receive a Division One scholarship next year to any school I want. Okay. specifically Syracuse and um team goals I want to win all region no not region yeah I want to win all region selections again all state selections um I want to win state region 
for all the seniors that are leaving. And I, most importantly, I just want to leave a big impact on in Brandon Hall and put it, put its name out there so so everyone could know that we're a force to reckon with. Well, you, you're definitely started leaving that legacy already, Kendrick. And sounds like mm-hmm. you are <laughs> driven for success, man. Um, mm-hmm. Finally, mo- most importantly, in preparation <laughs> for this virtual horse tournament, mm-hmm. what is your go-to shot we got to look out for if I'm playing against you? I can't tell you. Ah, oh, man. I, I was hoping no, to get no, a tell, for it, Kendrick. I'm going to tell, tell you, but, like, I can't tell you all my, all my <laughs> shots. But, like, um – for, I'm gonna start off with a half court shot, right? Yeah. But but the thing that's gonna get people the most is my infamous jelly. I call it jelly work. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's all I'm telling you, though. That's it. I got that's, you. You just have to wait to see. That's a smart competitor. <laughs> Don't want to give out all your cards. Um. Yeah. I, one of my big ones. I like the eyes closed free throw. That's my money. That's my go to <laughs> shot if I need something. I love it, Kendrick. Great job, man. And I uh, can't wait to see you come this fall. Yeah. Thank you. I'm see missing you. <laughs> See you, man. All right. All right. Bye. Who would have thought um, five weeks ago that this is how we're going to celebrate senior night? It certainly wouldn't have been from me. Um, knowing that some of the traditional senior experiences have been taken away, we want to make sure to give our seniors a special recognition. After many years watching seniors have their last go around with organized sports, enjoying the bus rides home from games, the nonstop debate between which post – this one's this one's always going on – between which post-match meal is better, Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's. Um, competing for that last chance to make state, seeing everyone's hard work toward, toward a common goal. Um, it, was, it was painful to see that season, the season end prematurely. Last Tuesday especially, it was supposed – the region tournament was scheduled, 70 degrees, no clouds in the sky. Uh, spent a lot of time thinking about all the different memories we have from that day. It's one of my favorites. I know that. Analyzing – everyone analyzing the brackets, see how they can make it to the top four. That – that excitement when you make state, um, a um, and then watching the pe- the players that make it deep in the tournament. It's a physical and mental grind. Um, it's not easy. This year was, I believe, the largest girls tennis team I've had, um, not just in the history of Brandon Hall, but anywhere I've worked. Uh, I believe by March 12th we were up to 24. Um, so lots of girls um but then to top that off we have six seniors on the team this year which is also the most i've had on a single team so the the two seniors that i have this year um they both it was the first year that they played baseball with us here unfortunately that was the only day that we were able to play after about six or seven rainouts um and you know there was not a cloud in the sky when we started that game and out of nowhere it, it dropped about two inches of rain so we we only got two innings in the entire season david rains samir ajai jeff strode ty croswell malik wilson Aiden Miller, Vicki Lynn, Vivian Lynn, Shannon Wang, Etta Erkmez, Angie Busto, Tania Martin. That's all this week, Panther Sports fans, and back to you. Let's welcome Samir, one of our seniors, who is here to offer some reflections with hashtag Panther Nation and the class of 2020. Good morning. When I reflect on the past two years of Brandon Hall, I see it as a time of personal growth and development. Through my participation in activities such as cross country, music production, and the SLDC, I've had the opportunity to broaden my horizon and try new things that I initially felt uncomfortable doing, such as public speaking, long distance running, and making music. I've also learned to work with others and consider the perspective of my peers. My experience in a Brandon Hall classroom has taught me how to have a better connection with my teachers and fellow classmates that will prepare me for college and life after. At the start of the school year, similar to many seniors throughout the country, I was anxious to finally be a senior in high school and thought that the year would be a breeze and I'll be able to walk across the stage on May 15th thinking about what I have accomplished over the past four years 
or looking forward to college. However, as we all know, this does not appear to be the case. The COVID-19 outbreak has put our lives on hold along with the final semester of high school for millions of seniors across the country. While this is definitely not how we anticipated spending our last semester in high school, this is only a temporary setback and we must all remember, as Robert Schuller said, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Through this experience, I've learned that society as a whole must learn to rise up and overcome challenges that come our way. There are so many things I'll miss after my Brandon Hall days end. The faculty's overall commitment to know each and every student in and out of the classroom, and also being able to secure new leadership skills through co-hosting assemblies and being a part of the SLDC. I will definitely be looking forward to college, life after college, and a chance to finally grow some real facial hair. Thank you and have a good weekend. We know how difficult it is not being together physically to attend classes, eat lunch, and play sports, but there are still ways to stay connected. Angie, tell us about some of our upcoming events. The SLDC is hosting a Zoom group get together for anyone in our community that needs to reconnect. This event is taking place this Thursday at 1135. We all miss each other and hope this helps us to feel the presence of the BHS community as a whole. Cindy, what else can you tell us? All grades are invited. This call will be a friendly heart-to-heart check-in about how you have been during quarantine and just a time to smile. Seniors, Brandon Hall is paying tribute to us. Every day, a different senior will be featured in an email blast to our community. If you haven't completed your survey questions yet, please get it done. A big thanks to Mrs. Shernatan for her creativity with designing our daily inspirational mess messages. We are excited to celebrate all our oh, birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. Angie for co-hosting. <laughs> and now we'll toss it over to Dean Matt to close the assembly. Hi Dean Matt, how are you? Happy Friday Panther Nation. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I hope you all had a chance to check out our Wellness Wednesday this week to let us know what you've been doing that's new to you or something you normally don't get to do that much but now that you're at home you've been able to. Normally I eat all my meals up in the cafeteria when we're here but one thing I really like to do is cook. Fun fact about me, when I was a senior in high school, there was a class that everybody in the entire school wanted to take. It was called Foods and Nutrition. And normally, people didn't get to take it until they were a senior in high school. You, you got to cook, you got to eat food, it was a great time. Senior year, I was the Foods and Nutrition Student of the Year for the entire high school. So what I've been doing, I've been cooking. So let's see what's on the menu for today. Today, we got some mac and cheese. We got some turkey legs. And one thing I've been doing that my wife and JT like are cookies. So I've been making cookies for my man JT right here. What is it? What is that? So he's been eating some cookies. Stay safe. Hope to see you all soon. And send in your videos to let us know what you've been doing. Take care. <laughs>